First and 10, Garoppolo, he's going deep, got Gober behind the defense, got it at the 30, 20, DeAndre Gober on his way for the touchdown. Steps up, now he's going to throw it deep in the end zone, Drake got it, touchdown Eastern Illinois. Here's the snap, here comes the blitz, Jimmy's going to throw it deep down the middle, Laura's out there, got it, and he's on his way, Garoppolo burns the blitz, touchdown Eastern Illinois. He's going to throw into the end zone, and touchdown, Eric Laura. I'm not sure how he got that through that window to get him. Garoppolo to throw, four-man rush, pump fake, going the bomb, going for Laura, touchdown, Eastern Illinois. There's the snap, Jimmy looking to throw into the right side for Laura. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Looking, throwing the bomb, going for Gober, back of the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Gober in the back corner behind two defenders. Jimmy Garoppolo sets the record for Eastern Illinois and the Ohio Valley Conference with his 86th career touchdown pass. A handoff, Garoppolo sets up, locking it down the right sideline. Gober got it to the 15, 10, 5, touchdown. DeAndre Gober. out of the gun, fake handoff, back, pressure up the middle, now he's going to dodge a man, throws, hit as he throws, deep right for Laura, leaping grab at the goal line, touchdown Eastern Illinois! Three wide outs left, Garoppolo back, looking to the left, going to fade in the corner, Laura, leaping catch, and touchdown Eastern Illinois! Garoppolo back, a lot of time, going to deep, got Drake out there, got it, 40, 30, Adam Drake going all the way, touchdown Eastern Illinois! Blitz Garoppolo, he's back, steps up, he's throwing the bomb, got Gover out there, got it, 20, 15, steps out of a tackle, it's a touchdown for Eastern Illinois, Garoppolo to Gover, 61 yards on the third play from scrimmage. Back to pass, Garoppolo looking, throwing deep, wide open, Jeff Lee Pack, touchdown Eastern Illinois. Here's the snap, Garoppolo back, pump fake, throwing the fade, left corner, Laura's got it, touchdown Eastern Illinois. Garoppolo back, stands in the pocket, guns it deep middle, caught, touchdown! Eric Laura with the catch at the two-yard line and goes in standing up. Second and seven at the 10, tossed a little, heading to the right, he wants to throw a pass, throwing back to Garoppolo on the left sideline, and he caught it at the goal line, touchdown! There's a penalty flag, Jimmy Garoppolo might have just caught his first touchdown pass. He's going crazy down there on the near sideline. Back. Garoppolo, two-step drop, throwing the fade, going for Drake, corner of the end zone, touchdown Eastern Illinois! That's just a teardrop right into the arms of Adam Drake between two defenders. Third and 11, Garoppolo back to pass, going to deep left sideline, got Adam Drake out there, got it, touchdown Eastern Illinois! Second down, nine to go, two wide out to right. Garoppolo, shotgun snap, fake handoff, Jimmy back, firing the slant, caught, touchdown, Eric Laura. He pulled it in at the three and goes in for the touchdown. Just a quick slant, and uh, the ball was delivered right on the number eight of, Larry, uh, of Laura's jersey. Perfect pass by Garoppolo on a string, no defensing that, and the Panthers have another score. 10.40 to go, second quarter, 16 to nothing, Eastern Illinois, third and goal, Garoppolo back, bump bank in trouble, rolling to the right, Jimmy looking into the end zone, rolling out to the right, throws over the middle, touchdown, Jeff Lee Pack, great job by Garoppolo to find Lee Pack while he was scrambling out of the pocket. Hey, number one, baby. Backfield for Garoppolo, third down. Jimmy back in the pocket, going over the middle, touchdown. Eric Laura, back in the end zone. Garoppolo looks to pass. Now rolls out to his right, sets up, looking deep. Now he's going to launch it deep. He's got a man wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Jeff Lee Pack, running wide open in the back right corner of the end zone. They lost Lee Pack somehow, and Garoppolo waited long enough to get him open, and then threw about a 50-yard strike into the back corner. The 2013 Walter Payton Award for the most outstanding player in the FCS. That is quarterback, Eastern Illinois, Jim Garoppolo. There's so many people to thank. Uh, you know, firstly, I'd like to thank my parents, Tony and Denise, right here, for everything that they've done through me. 
for me throughout my entire football career. I mean, I wouldn't be here today without them. And, uh, you know, them and my brothers back home, I got three brothers. And, uh, you know, all, all of them have always instilled in me to stay grounded throughout life, stay humble, and just be the best person you could be because, I mean, that's, that's all you could ask for in the end. Uh, next, you know, I'd like to thank my La Familia, my Ohana, and uh, that's my teammates back in Charleston, Illinois. I love each and one, every one of them like they were a brother to me. And, you know, from the hogs and the dogs and the air unit and everyone in between, all, all the players, I mean, I wouldn't be standing here right now if it wasn't for all the hard work and dedication that we put into the season as a team. And, you know, I thank them for that. Uh, next, I'd like to thank my former coaches, Coach Spoo and Coach Wiki, who can't be here, and uh, our athletic director, Miss Burke, right here, for giving me the opportunity to play football here at Eastern Illinois. Uh, you know, they've taught me a lot on and off the field, and uh, these past four years at Eastern have really been the uh, best, best years of my life. I mean, it's the best decision I've ever made coming to Eastern, and I couldn't be happier. Uh, next, I'd like to give a special thanks to Coach Babers, my head coach, and Coach Gilbert, my offensive coordinator and quarterback coach, and along with the rest of our coaching staff at uh, Charleston, Illinois. You know, they've, uh, they've done so much for me that I can't put it into words. The, the knowledge that they've shared with me in both life and in football is something that I, I will carry with me for the rest of my life because, you know, in the words of Coach Babers, uh, knowledge is power. So as long as you got that, you got something going. And lastly, uh, you know, I'd like to thank the fans and everyone, all of Panther Nation. Uh, the support they've given our team the last four years has been nothing but amazing. Uh, they've been with us through the rough two and nine season my freshman year and sophomore year, all the way to the good times like these that, you know, I, I get to share with them when I get back to town. And, uh, you know, this past season has flown by, and uh, I really, it's been nothing short of amazing. And these, these memories I have from all of Eastern, everything here, or running the playoffs. It's something that will carry with me for the rest of my life. And you know, I'd, I'd like to thank the committee for everything. Uh, this award means a lot, and I really feel honored to, to be receiving it tonight, and I feel truly blessed. And so thank you, everyone. Go Panthers. Yeah, well, first off, I'll, I'll have to pick an agent. That's the, that's the first step in all of this. And you know, my parents have done a great job this whole season of dealing with all the agents and leaving it to me at the very end to make a decision. I mean, that, they've taken so many distractions away from me, it's, it's unbelievable. And so after I pick an agent, then it'll, it'll go to, they have a plan for me. It's already set up that they have a calendar already set up for me and everything. So I'll just go on that. And then I got the East West Shrine game coming up in uh, early January. I'll go to that for a week. And then it's pretty much just straight training for the combine after that. Then hopefully get an invite to the combine, perform well there. And then it's just, on, on with everything else, the pro days and all that stuff. All this is still just a dream. I mean, I, you still got to put in the hard work this off season and get noticed by the right people in the NFL and perform well at the Combine and Pro Day. And it's, it's a process and there's just the beginning of it, but it, it's going to happen fast in these next couple months. And Jimmy Garoppolo, the quarterback out of Eastern Illinois, voted the best player in FCS this past season. There we see the quick compact delivery. I like that a whole lot. Active feet and the ball comes out very quickly. Six touchdowns against Northern, and that's a pretty touch pass for Femi. And those two know each other pretty well. Eric Laura, the last two seasons, and I know we have a flag down, but Eric Laura, the last two seasons, 259 catches. Grapple over the end zone again, and there's Matt Hazel, touchdown. The quick fake, and look at how about that ball. Nice job, Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo, he was fantastic this last fall. He was enticing last week at the East-West Shrine game. And here he is, first down and 10 of the 48, going to the air right away. Athletic throw to his left, can't throw it any better. And that was a nice little snapshot of Jimmy Garoppolo. Got his shoulders around through a strike, 12 yard game. And Garoppolo, guys, I mean, this is the momentum he's just carrying right over from the East West. And you love the footwork he has in the pocket, but also the ability to get outside, square his shoulders, and deliver the ball accurately. Sling together as soon as he decides where it's going. That quick, compact delivery like that right there allows it to go. Now, uh, here's a Eastern Illinois Panther, Jimmy Garoppolo. Quick release, athletic kid. I thought he helped himself maybe as much as anybody in the draft in the two week period by playing in the East-West game and the Senior Bowl. He went from kind of a mid to late guy to a potential second or third round draft pick. Footwork, 
and quick release. And, and if a kid has that, you can build with that. It's the foundation. Put your chin on your shoulder and locate and the ball so up. you don't lose speed. Right. There's an Eastern Illinois Rutgers oh, excellent, connection excellent, right excellent, there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Don't have to put a lot of velocity on this. This is more like you said, Mike, where you're setting it to the outside. We're not really looking for the guy to catch it and turn up. It's more, we're trying to get 12 yards on the sideline. What's this whole experience like for you, this pro day experience? Uh, you know, it's exciting. I'm having fun with it. Uh, I get to come out here slinging around with some of the best receivers. and. I mean, one of my receivers here, Eric Laura, so I mean, we're, we're going to go out there oh slinging around and, you know, hopefully impress some scouts. It's been hectic. My parents are, they're loving it, though. My brothers, uh, all their friends are really staying with me and uh, just keeping up to date on everything. So they're, they're all having fun with it. Uh, my mom's learning more and more football as we go along. She didn't know too much, but she's catching on. So, you know, they're having fun with it just like I am. And, you know, that's what you got to do. I mean, you got to enjoy the process. We have a short script. I mean, it's not too many throws, but, uh, you know, after that, we're going to ask the scouts if they have anything that they want to see. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to impress them, do whatever they want want to see. What has Ty Dedman taught you as well? What, what, have you, what has he taught me? Yeah, what have you learned most from him coming in? Uh, you know, just the little things, uh, how blitzes are connected with the fronts, stuff like that. I mean, the ins and outs of the game, really, that are connected to the NFL game opposed to the college game. I mean, there's such a huge learning curve that I have to go through, and you know, I'm excited about learning it. And I love football, love learning it, and you know, I want to become a master of it, really. Has it uh, gone to your head here? Now all of a sudden people are finding you. Uh, uh, no, I mean, uh, you know, my family does a great job of keeping me grounded. The Combine, how was it? It was exciting. Uh, you know, I, I had a fun time there. It was uh, it's a rough four days. I mean, a little sleep deprived and everything. But, you know, I, I got to meet a bunch of cool people, learned a bunch of stuff. And, you know, I enjoyed the whole, uh, the whole experience, really. Is it more mental or physical at the Combine? Uh... You know, it's, it's really a little bit of both. You you really have to have some mental toughness, though, to uh, get through the four days, you know. just I mean, they, they try to do everything to throw you off so that you don't uh, perform your best. But, you know, it's it's our job as athletes to, uh, you know, fight against that, really. What criticisms have you heard? Um, you know, everyone criticizes the small school uh, where where I come from. I mean, that, that's just something that will be tagged with me for the rest of my life. I'm from a small school. I'm proud of that. And, you know, it's just it's me going out there proving that it doesn't matter where you come from. We're all professionals now. Can it be a good thing that you're unknown up until this point where we, we pick at some of these guys because we've seen them, like Manziel or Tebow? Coming from Eastern Illinois, we didn't get as much exposure as those guys did. So, you know, throughout the whole All-Star Games, the Combine, Pro Day, I've gotten probably more exposure in the last two months than I have the whole season. Every player has their own story, so, you know, I'm just trying to run with it. Peyton wasn't drafted, Romo wasn't drafted, why, why should you draft Garoppolo? The time's changing. Uh, FCS, FBS comparison getting closer and closer every year. How come I hear about all these other quarterbacks? I keep hearing Carr and Manziel and Bridgewater and Bortles, and we'll get the Italian Stallion in the second <laughs> round, third round. Have you heard that? Uh, you know, I've heard rumors, but uh, you know, it's all hearsay. You never know what, what teams are really thinking, what they're trying to tell other people, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, who knows? The draft is a, it's a strange thing, and you never know what's going to happen. There he is, <laughs> right there, Jimmy Garoppolo. Jeez. But you are, you're the underdog. <laughs> you're the unknown guy. I've been I the know underdog. I'm talking about you, but you're starting to get a lot of momentum. You're starting to get a lot of people that are on your wagon now. Oh, yeah. Are you confident uh, that you're as good or better than all these others? Oh, yeah. I've been the underdog my whole life, and, I mean, it's just something that I've loved living with. I love, mm -hmm. I love having that tag with me. Love, I mean, especially... Being from Eastern Illinois, everyone's saying you're a small school, you're never going to beat San Diego State, all that, all that talk before the season, and then you go out there and do it. There's nothing better than that, proving someone wrong. I mean, that's, that's what I live for. You know, when you look at how you've gotten better in the last year, the last three years, it's really startling. You can be the greatest story of this draft. I'm excited, uh, bottom line. My whole family gets to come with me out there. I mean, it's a, it's a very unique opportunity. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So, you know, whether I go first, second, third, whatever it may be, I mean, I'm a very quick learner. So it's almost one of those things that whatever situation I go into, you know, I'm going to make the best of it. There's too many teams looking for quarterbacks when we get to that second round for him not to be a viable option for somebody. I watched Jimmy Garoppolo throw five passes at Eastern Illinois University, and the first thing out of my mouth was, Somebody screwed up big time because he did, he should have been at an FBS school. 
Jimmy Garoppolo would have been the starter at Texas A&M. Jimmy Garoppolo would have been the starter at the University of Arizona. Jimmy Garoppolo is a big-time quarterback, and everybody's going to figure it out really, really quick how good this young man is. This guy is going to be a starting quarterback in the National Football League, and you can put the top five quarterbacks on the football field. You can take their jerseys off have them start throwing footballs around, and I bet you they get really confused with which one was the FBS guy and which one was the FCS guy. The guy can play. He's intelligent. He's sharp. And he's got one of the fastest releases I've probably seen, maybe only second to a Dan Marino. I wanted to play early. I didn't know I was going to play my true freshman year, but, I mean, that was definitely an emphasis. I mean, some of the other schools had QBs that were a little younger and they were starting. So, I mean, yeah, that definitely influenced me in the recruiting process. Jimmy came in, we expected him to compete for the starting job as a true freshman. I uh, ended up uh, starting uh, the final eight games. I showed that uh, he had some of the physical skills and some of the abilities that uh, we thought he had. Six-man rush, he's throwing deep, got a man out there, Ricks, got it! 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Eastern Illinois! Going and into the season, I was on the travel squad. I kind of figured if we were struggling, the quarterback wasn't doing very well, I mean, there might be a chance that I would get in. But I didn't think it would come by the fourth game. A little bit more athletic than uh, the guys that uh, maybe you know, we've had or I've, I've been used to having in the past. I don't think there's any question his greatest strength is, is, is quick release. He has uh, a unique ability to get rid of football very quickly. I, I could constantly be learning. I mean, just learning everything about the position, everything about the sport, about defenses. There's always more that could be learned. I mean, quarterback position, there's, there's no end to learning. He's got a bright future ahead of him. Uh, again, he'll be the first one to tell you he hasn't really reached the level that he would like to or can. The one aspect of this team that's impressed me is our quarterback, JG. We affectionately call him JG. Our quarterback is somebody that can lead us to where we need to be. His skills are exceptional. And what we have to do as an offense and a defense is put an offense around him to let his skill sets be shown and put a defense around him that can get the ball back so he can again go on the field and show everybody what those skill sets are. The main goal that we're trying to achieve this year is the 2012 Panthers. We're, we're trying to make a run in the playoffs and win an OVC championship. And if the stats come along and the records come along with it, I mean, I'd be more than happy to accept the play. We're looking to win an OVC championship for that. This is the kind of throw that you need to be able to make on Sundays. I mean, Jimmy really puts a lot on this throw. He just drilled it in and going into the wind, that's the kind of pass you need to make. You can't throw it any better than that. In my mind, I think of myself as my own guy. I mean, I'm, I'm Jimmy Garoppolo. It's not like I'm the predecessor of Tony Romo or something like that or Sean Payton, but to be compared to them, it, it really is an honor. I mean, their jerseys are hanging up on the wall out there for a reason. It's not like they were just a couple of guys who came through here. I mean, they, they left their mark on Eastern, and you know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to leave a legacy here that one day I can look back on and be proud of and maybe tell my kids, be like, yeah, I played, I was a quarterback at Eastern when we won the OBC championship, won the national championship and whatnot. So, you know, that's just the, I'm just trying to build my own legacy, the Jimmy Garoppolo legacy. Kind of tell us about the experience so far. How's it going? No, it's, it's been a busy week. Uh, very hectic, but, you know, enjoyed every bit of it. But first time in New York, and, uh, so, uh, you know, me and the family have just been enjoying every every little bit of it. So, Denise, for you, how's, it, how's the experience? It's great. It's the first time here, and we're just enjoying it and enjoying the moment. It's just quite an experience. I know you like to go tonight, Jimmy, but kind of thoughts on anything you've heard today for you or your agent? or kind of, my agent? Yeah. Uh, you know, he told me just to. I mean, we've been saying a lot, but just enjoy it. I mean, uh, this is a crazy thing. You never know where someone's going to go, who's going to trade up, trade down, and, uh, you know, everything can get thrown off on one pick. So, you know, it's one of those things you kind of have to sit back and just let the chips fall where they may. From Eastern Illinois University, quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. And welcome to the 2014 NFL Draft. Jimmy Garoppolo still in the green room at Radio City Music Hall. When will we hear his name called? With the 67th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, your New England and my New England Patriots select Jimmy Garoppolo.
quarterback, Eastern Illinois. Well, there's the moment backstage in the green room for Jimmy Garoppolo. And guys, on so many levels, this is a very interesting pick. He's an interesting quarterback. Makes every throw, good arm, smart, but the feet and the quick release are what stand out to me for Jimmy Garoppolo. I like this pick because he's a developmental quarterback. He shows some traits that you can forecast as being, wow, this guy can be really good. I was just ecstatic about it. just the opportunity to go there and play for such a successful organization like that. I mean, it's a real opportunity, and, you know, I'm looking forward to getting to work. How much interaction have you had with Tom Brady leading up to this process? Uh, not much, not much. I'm looking forward to get to meet him. Uh, he's... I've been looking up to him since I was a little kid, since I started playing quarterback, so it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for me. Your favorite player is Tom Brady. You're going to be learning from him. Does it get any better than that? You know, it's, uh, I can't imagine a better situation. You know, it's a dream scenario. Uh, you know, great opportunity, great organization to go play for. So, you know, uh, I'm excited to get to work. I hate to break it to you, but you're probably not going to be starting anytime soon, but I'm sure you're fine with that. You know, uh, we'll, we'll make it work. Uh, you know, I'm going to go to work every day as if I'm the starter and, uh, you know, do, do my best. It was unbelievable. I was sitting with my older brother, Tony, and uh, my agent, Steve. And, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those experiences you don't, you don't know it how it's going to feel until you're actually there. I mean, you try to prepare for it and everything, but I mean, in that moment, it was, I was speechless for a second, I'm not going to lie to you. So, uh, you know, it's it a very awesome scenario to go into. You know, it's unbelievable. Uh, sitting in the green room and everything, people started to uh, leave one by one, and you know, we got down to, I think it was three or four guys left, and, you know, me and my brother walked out of the green room for a minute just to get some air. It's, uh, it's hot back there, so the Massachusetts phone number called me, and uh, I don't know, I kind of lost my sense of thought for a second. Uh, I couldn't picture it going any better than that. Now, what does it mean to be a guy to come from Eastern Illinois? What does that do for you and do for the program down the road? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Eastern has done so much for me. Uh, coach, going back all the way, Coach Spoon, Coach Wiki, and when Coach Favors came in, you know, uh, I don't know, it's, it's one of those things that I, I want to give back as much as I can. So, you know, they've helped me so much that I want, I want to give back and help them. And, you know, all this TV exposure and everything, and it's probably helped the program a little.